Hello everyone, I'm at 3 4th and Psychic Gamers, and today I have some pretty exciting Call of Duty Black Ops 2 news, specifically about the maps. And this is really exciting for me because this is probably the first video I've done on my channel where I actually found the news out myself rather than get it from another source. I seem to have discovered on the official Call of Duty Elite website four new maps that we don't officially know about in Black Ops 2 yet. So let's go and check them out. I've also just pulled up this which is my Black Ops 2 Ultimate Guide. This is the map section and it's just so I can reference back to it. These are all the confirmed maps so far from here down to here. The most recent ones were confirmed at Eurogamer which is why they don't have image links yet. And we also have these rumoured maps which came out of a supposed leaked Black Ops 2 beta build. However also within the list that was leaked were these three that were just recently announced so we can assume that these are pretty much legitimate. Anyway, let's stop going on about this and head over to here. This is Call of Duty Elite and this is a new Ops 2 folder that they've made fairly recently, haven't seen it before. And uh, I was just looking around trying to hopefully pick up some stuff that I could use in my ultimate guide, some images. And I came across this maps folder with these map names in it. Now while they don't go to anything interesting yet, they are simply Modern Warfare 3 image place markers. The names do give away quite a lot. So the first ones to touch on are LA and Turbine. This is obviously Turbine and most likely Aftermath because this is set in downtown Los Angeles. The next two, Carrier and Raid. These came out of the leaked Black Ops 2 beta. Carrier is a Chinese supercarrier with open engagements on the deck and great close quarter fights to the hull. Raid is a hillside mansion in the Hollywood Hills with hectic close quarters engagements. So they've shown up twice now and they're pretty much confirmed I would say especially with an official source such as Elite. Now the next two is what I actually want to talk about. Array and Radiation. Now Radiation could be Meltdown which is a new map for Black Ops 2 and it's a Pakistan nuclear power plant which would fit in with the radiation sort of thing. However, we could also take it at face value and say that radiation from Black Ops 1 is coming back, which would tie in with this array. Now if you've seen the images of the leaked Black Ops 2 beta build, then you may have noticed in the background that there was a picture of array, and this is what put a lot of people off of these images, including myself. I thought it was fake because the person had foolishly photoshopped a picture of Array into the background, but it turns out that Array might actually be showing up in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. What with a lot of the beta maps being confirmed and now Array showing up on Elite, it's pretty much confirmed that we will be seeing it at some point. Now the next interesting thing is we didn't actually get a look at Array in any of these menus. We saw the developer menu and we saw the standard menu and neither of these contained Array, so it must have been hiding away in DLC. So it seems that Array is coming back as DLC and possibly alongside Radiation and probably some more Black Ops 1 maps remastered for Black Ops 2. So that's pretty much all I need to say. This was on the official Call of Duty Elite website. You can check it out for yourself. I will put a link in the description. They may close it up and stop you going around their server files, but it is all legitimate. Look, I can go up parent directory some more and there's all stuff here. And this is all the Call of Duty Elite stuff, so Elite Bar logo. It's all in here, some fairly interesting stuff in there, including some Modern Warfare 3 stuff that apparently never made it into the game. Um, but I just came across that and thought you guys should know. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did, make sure you leave a rating, especially as I actually found this out myself. Leave your opinions on this in the comments section below, and if you want to keep up to date with Black Ops 2 news and you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe, and I shall hopefully see you next time.